on this Rolling Bones TV adventure. I have my number one scouter, Brian. He promised me he was gonna find me a Boone and Crockett buck. And Brad's like, mm. I mean, this thing stood out in a pack of world-class mounts in Cabela's. <sighs> Sometimes it's tough to walk away and not pull the trigger. And that was the right thing to do. And as fate would have it, did he go over the hill? Rolling Bones TV is proud to salute our sponsors. Kershaw Knives, there's nothing like a Kershaw. Arms Corps Ammunition, the official ammo of Rolling Bones Outfitters. My Realtree Max One Camo, for all the places deer and antelope roam. Montana Rifle Company, the official partner in creating the extended range, extreme weather custom Rolling Bones rifle system, the most accurate in hunting today. The Lodge at Deadwood Gaming Resort, elevate your experience. And by Rolling Bones Outfitters. Be sure to sign up today for exclusive member benefits, including discounts on hunts and merchandise. Log on to rollingbonesoutfitters.com. On today's adventure, we're gonna be antelope hunting in Western South Dakota. And it's one of my favorite things to do. You know, I, I love to, uh, my, 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 my two or three top favorite things to do is coyote hunt, mule deer hunt, and antelope hunt. And people go, antelope? I love antelope. And where we're hunting today, the antelope thrive. It is the high prairie, high desert, lots of cactuses, uh, you know, that prickly pear everywhere. There's not much for them, uh, not much for most critters to live on but these antelope are tough and they make a living out there all year long. The state of South Dakota um, does a great job of managing the tags and the population and the herd. And the particular area that uh, Brad drew a tag in is one of the most coveted areas. There's a couple large bow hunting only uh, um, outfitters there and you know, the animals just get a chance to mature and it's just, it's, it's a perfect climate for them. And it's just north of the Black Hills and so there's an inversion of weather at different times and they just get real big, they're real mature and the state does a good job and, and we have an unbelievable antelope hunt in western South Dakota. I have my number one scouter, Brian, out. He promised me he was gonna find me a Boone and Crockett buck. Yeah, this is remote country, you know? It's quite a drive to get to a town of, uh, you know, more than 100 people where we're at. But that grows big antelope. And the ranchers are making beef for the supper table. All the people in the city. I'm uh, 60 miles from the nearest town right now. I guess you gotta, you gotta either be able to dodge the cows or they gotta dodge the truck. You gotta share the road. And Brad's got this coveted tag, but he's gotta work. So I, I say to Brad, dude, I'm gonna go out and find you an antelope. So the day I had before that, I was out glassing, looking, and I'd spotted a good antelope right at dark, but you know, with the heat waves and everything through the spotting coat scope, I couldn't tell if it was as big as I thought it was, but it was one of those that make your eyes just like, dude, is that for real? Well, I got up the next morning and I headed up there right after I dropped the kids off to school. Lindley and I had a quick conversation. I said, I'm gonna be gone for the day. I'm gonna be up to see if I could find this antelope. So I raced 60 some miles north of town um, and uh, I get out there and I start glassing and glassing and glassing. Dude, that's a pretty good three point right there. Oh. We're out trying to spot an antelope for uh, 
Brad this afternoon and those deer on this high pressure day are looking at us at 634 yards. They can hear us talking like it's nothing and all I'm doing is whispering. And uh, these are perfect days to call coyotes. Uh, I just, this is the day man right here. But we are out looking for antelope for Brad's tag and Brad's uh, getting in here and is available about an hour and a half. I have some antelope spotted over here. We're gonna go down here about two miles. There's a good buck that's been hanging out. We're gonna see if we can't get him in the right place too. So stay with us and we're gonna see if we can't get this antelope on film today. All right. In about 9.45, it's you know it, it what you know when you're looking for what you're looking for you know what you're looking for when you see what you're looking for and it was like bam and there he was Welcome to the new ACI. Every family has a heritage. Ours is making ammo. Our company is moving forward. ACI is growing just like our family. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Production is what keeps the company running. Inspecting, packaging. Quality pretty much lands on us. Visit m1morestore.com or stop by the store in Stevensville, Montana. Thank you, troops. I'm Mark Cassavan. For additional scenes, stuff way too crazy for TV. These work, take the butcher's word for it. Caribou game bags. If your guide don't work for you, the bag sure will. <laughs> Go to rollingbonesoutfitter.com and click on the YouTube icon and subscribe today. <laughs> don't touch me. <laughs> My two or three top favorite things to do is coyote hunt, mule deer hunt, and antelope hunt. I love antelope. I don't have a tag I didn't draw this year, maybe next year. And uh, South Dakota is one of those states though that it might take you a year or two years to draw, but this is a great antelope state. There's some real trophies here. We should have some antelope coming in. There's a couple bucks over here about uh, half a mile away feeding this way, so we'll see what happens. I gotta clean my arrow. I've killed three animals with it. Going for a fourth today. All right, we've been sitting in this uh, Primo's double ball blind all day long, and uh, the goat we're looking for just came across this little flat out in front of us and dropped into a drainage ditch. We believe he's coming down to drink so that's what we're looking for. If he doesn't, uh, we're gonna do our best to, well, here he comes actually right now. Okay, here he comes. quartering to me a little bit and uh, but I had no shot the way they're coming in there if I wouldn't have taken it I will tell you this that's what a thousand hours of shooting has done oh baby <laughs> Noah get in here son 
Noel, you gotta get in here, buddy. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh, son? That a boy. You've kind of grown up coming out here. And where we're hunting today, the antelope thrive. Brad's got a tag, he's coming up. He's about uh, 10, 11 miles south of here right now. And so he's heading up here. I've spotted one. He could go, he could go right at 80, 82 inches. Just a great trophy goat. We have him over the rise and then. I'm pinned down right now. I can't even move, I'm in my truck. I got it a little close. One of the things about antelope is that is if you don't booger them out, if you don't blow them out of the country, usually they'll calm right down. Yeah, I got goats all the way around me. Um, the wind shifted, so we got it moving that way, which is in our favor. We have four juveniles or young bucks in front of the two good bucks. And this time of year, you know, these bucks get pinned together. And, and uh, to me, it's not opening weekend. You know, because these animals are in their own behavior now. They've split off of the does. It's kind of hunting seasons, bounced them around a little bit. The, the does and the young bucks are really, really nervous. The big bucks are together. Um, they're bedded up. They're not as nervous. I've drove by them. Um, granted, I'm a thousand yards away. And then I slipped over a ridge, got within 600 yards. You saw that footage there. So Brad's on his way. He just turned onto the road where we're uh, going to be making the... Uh, uh, attempt at these animals. So uh, I'm about four or five miles away right now. I just looked at them five minutes ago. They are sleeping and satisfied and hopefully nothing gets them on their feet and we're on them and uh, into the stalk here in the next 15 minutes. So if we were going to get in there, it's going to be about 35, 40 minute slip. He was going to shoot his antelope. It was going to be a Boone and Crockett animal. We we're going to have this trophy down. Well, as wild fair chase game hunting goes, nothing ever happens like you planned. Rolling Bones TV is proud to salute our sponsors. Kershaw Knives, there's nothing like a Kershaw. Arms Corps Ammunition, the official ammo of Rolling Bones Outfitters. My Realtree Max One Camo, for all the places deer and antelope roam. Montana Rifle Company, the official partner in creating the extended range, extreme weather custom Rolling Bones rifle system, the most accurate in hunting today. The Lodge at Deadwood Gaming Resort, elevate your experience and by Rolling Bones Outfitters. Be sure to sign up today for exclusive member benefits including discounts on hunts and merchandise. Log on to RollingBonesOutfitters.com So I have my number one scouter, Brian, out. He promised me he was going to find me a Boone and Crockett buck and I had to work that morning. <laughs> no, we're not going to pull any of your teeth. So I get the call about 10, and I get this message. I had a break. And Brian says, Brad, can you get out here any earlier? I found a booner. He's huge. He's, he's been tailing it and scoping it out, and he's been uh, watching that buck all day, waiting for me to show up with my tech. I know I've been bringing you up to speed on what's been happening, but Brad just ran up here from Spearfish and we'll show you the vista in the background because you can see the Black Hills and the Bear Lodges from where we're at. And uh, I tell you, you can't find more gorgeous country than this if you're a prairie hunter, huh? And it's, it's easy to get to. It's just hop, skip, and a jump. 
you know, from an airport, from Spearfish, Rapid. We have outfitted this area and South Dakota is one of those, and I know I've said this earlier today, it's one of those overlooked states. You know, one or two preference points, boom, you can draw a tag and you can be hunting out here. So, you know, we're gonna go hopefully put this deal together for you. Right. And uh, cause you got a tag. I don't, but I'm happy to be out here. And it was my turn to uh, do the scouting cause next year he's gonna do the scouting and I'm gonna be in a hot tub hanging out doing nothing in the morning. Cause I won't, yeah. <laughs> so, so anyway, we're, we're gonna go see what happens right now. <laughs> I'm just busting you up, man. So I finally get there, Brian's waiting for me. We uh, coordinate, get a plan, and we go back to where he'd seen that buck the last time, and it's gone. Well, as wild fair chase game hunting goes, nothing ever happens like you planned. So we get over there, and, and I've been telling him about this goat, texting him all day long, no goat. You know, I don't know. He said he's got this booner, and I'm sure, and I'm thinking he found a really nice buck, and I'm excited. And I'm like, oh no. So we circle back around. There was some water that they were on earlier that morning, and I thought maybe they went to that water. So we circle back around, we go to that water, and I think Brad thought I was kidding him about how big this thing was. And all of a sudden, we come around a, uh, a, come around a point, and there's a bunch of bucks, and there's that buck. My buck is there. And Brad's like, mm, you know, in, in true Brad fashion, holy smokes. And I'm like, holy cow, you did find a booner. I mean, this thing stood out in a pack of world-class mounts in Cabela's. He was a tank. I've been looking at him all day. Can you imagine? I mean, I had no fingernails left. I don't know, guys. That antelope needs a sign on it that says wide load, just to be legal. I'm like, you're right? And so we, we make a plan, him and I sit there and we talk, we make a plan, so we're gonna slip down on this water. But the problem is, is that, that we're right on the border of where we can shoot him or we can't shoot him. I mean, it was a chip shot, it was a slant, it was an idiot proof. I could have even made the shot, but I, I couldn't tell for sure if he was on our property boundary that we could hunt or if he was on the neighbor's property. So we had to let him go. He's still standing there. He's still standing there looking at us like, don't you come into my territory. Man, that's hunting. That's why it's not it shooting. It hey, it hey we'll, 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 we'll get, get one. Yeah. We'll get one. Um, you gotta just, right. I knew when, when, uh, when we turned him down, I wasn't gonna get another shot at him. I just, but we had to do the right thing. That was the right thing to do. Sometimes it's tough to walk away and not pull the trigger, but it does pay off. If you do it, if you do it properly and you do it in the right place, you usually get your animal. And I just think the integrity of the hunt, the character of who we are and how we handle ourselves as outdoorsmen and outdoors people is, is it's, it's, the, it's so important, man. And Brad's like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're not gonna get him. And I'm like, we're just staying the course. We're just staying the course. He's, he's walking the right way though. He's walking the right way, but he, we're, he's killing us, man, the suspense. Literally, he's 80 yards from where, maybe 100, from where we can shoot him. Bones Outfitters, a company created by hunters for hunters. Let us help you find your next outdoor adventure. Contact us at Rolling Bones Outfitters. We match the hunter to the hunt. You can feel it as soon as you step inside the lodge at Deadwood Gaming Resort. There's a distinctive sound and it draws you in. Machines light up everywhere you turn. Excited crowds gather around the tables and undeniable energy gets your blood pumping and intrigues you. Makes you want more. Makes you want to see if tonight is your night. Will you try your luck at your favorite slot machine or sit down for a few hands of blackjack? It's your move and it's waiting for you at the lodge at Deadwood Gaming Resort. That's why.
so now he spots us. We spot him. But he doesn't know what we are. And we're real calm, we got the wind in our favor. So he moves in amongst a bunch of cows. And you know I learned years ago that if you just kind of flank them, just parallel them, and kind of take an angle at them, that a lot of times they won't, they won't booger out. They'll just kind of, they'll just kind of, you know, be like, who are you, what are you? We were so far back where we were that these goats hadn't been ran around and boogered up from season and weren't bounced around. The property we're hunting on, you know, doesn't get a ton of pressure. And we just kept flanking and flanking and flanking and we didn't push him too hard. And then, you know, 520, 530 yards. And Brad's so efficient at that range, it's not even funny. Now everything calms down, slow down, make your shot. 539 yards or something. Brian called the wind, he, you know, we shoot a lot. He's, he's a great spotter and he gave me a great spot and uh, the rest is history. Did he go over the hill? Nope, he's on the right still. Take your shot when you're ready. No wind straight at our back. I don't see him. He's the one on the right, isn't he? I don't think so. Oh yeah, there he is, shoot him. He's the one on the far right. Okay. So this bucks with a group of bucks. I have a limited window to make the shot. Minute he turns. Take him. I take the shot and he runs over the hill. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He acted like he got hit. And then he comes right back and Brian says, yep. He's got blood running down his front leg. Congratulations, you just killed a monster goat. And uh, that's where he fell. And then when we went over the hill, there he was, down in the draw. Congratulations. Good job, Ryan. Holy smokes, man. That thing is a tank. Is that's nice. that's the biggest goat I've ever been on. I did. Oh, it is me too, for sure. It is absolutely yeah. the biggest goat. Man, I love South Dakota. Yeah. There's a reason we live here, huh? What opportunities, huh? Hey, 531, how did it do? Yeah, <laughs> 531. When we looked at his, his horn, I mean, the bases were really thick. Um, you know, you could just see the years of uh, all those hard winters that this sucker had been through. It's pretty cool to be able to harvest an animal uh, of his size and, and uh, you know, s status in the herd. You know, you know what's fun? People always ask, man, why do you get excited? Man, we got so, uh, nine hours into this buck right now. Nine yeah. hours and then a blown stalk and then yeah. we didn't pressure him. We just quartered yeah. at him and, uh, we, you know, it just, uh, it just all worked out. We stayed with him. That buck scored 84 and 5 eighths, Boone and Crockett. Out of the three of us, I'm the goat guy. You know, I like the goats. And then of course, Brad, he gets the goat. I mean, what a, I mean, what an old warrior. He's been around, you know. That's cool seeing that. You know, I like the maturity of an animal like that. It just uh, gives you something. You know, he's sure a big old mass, massive. You know, we just appreciate all the years he's been out here making a living. Yeah, he's it's, done, not, you know? it's not an easy living out here. And that's what Rolling Bones is all about. We've had a blessed season so far, and it's just getting going. To book a hunting adventure like you saw today, go to rollingbonesoutfitters.com and click on Book a Hunt and start building your trip of a lifetime.